Over the last few weeks, we have all seen examples of the best of humanity, and indeed, the worst of humanity. But happily, I can report that most of what I've been seeing on my social media feeds uh, is evidence that the spirit of human decency is alive and kicking. Well, it's alive. We'll just go with alive. However, I have seen a handful of posts extolling the brilliance of the fact that the virus has resulted in a drop in pollution levels. Undeniably a positive thing. But also that the population is declining. One post even declared that natural selection has been doing its thing for millions of years. Why would we put a stop to it now? This fantastically misanthropic view always seems to come from those who are, conveniently for them, the least likely to suffer the worst consequences of the virus, both financially and physically. Well, to them I say, well, why stop it there? Natural selection takes so incredibly long. Wouldn't it just be more prudent for us to take matters into our own hands? Come on, chaps. Fetch the hounds and the horses. There's even a new hunting song for this kind of blood sport. I always will remember t'was a year ago, November, I went out to hunt some deer on a morning bright and clear. I went and shot the maximum the game laws would allow, two game wardens, seven hunters, and a cow. I was in no mood to trifle, I took down my trusty rifle and went out to stalk my prey. What a haul I made that day. I tied them to my fender and I drove them home somehow. Two game wardens, seven hunters, and a cow. The law was very firm, it took away my permit and the worst punishment I've ever endured. It turned out there was a reason, cows were out of season, and one of the hunters wasn't insured. People ask me how I do it, and I say there's nothing to it. You just stand there looking cute. And when something moves, you shoot. And there's ten stuffed heads in my trophy room right now. Two game wardens, seven hunters, and a purebred Highlander. 